What's going on, people? It's the Bear here once again. You ever heard the words, let sleeping dogs lie? That's what I believe they should have did with uh, Breaking Bad. You know, the greatest TV show of all time. Let sleeping dogs lie. You know, don't try to re re revive it with this tacked on story of Jesse Pinkman. You know, El Camino was garbage. It was horrible. It should have never even been made, to tell you the truth. I'm looking at IMDB or whatever the case and Rotten Tomatoes. And IMDB gave it a 7.9. A 7 Rotten Tomatoes gave it a 93. I'm looking at Jeremy Johns. They gave it, he gave it a buy it on DVD and uh, Blu-ray. I'm like, what do y'all see that, that I don't see? Because I don't understand it. I watched this whole boring ass, whatever you would want to call this thing. I mean, I understand. Look, listen, Breaking Bad right now is still trending on Netflix. It's still trending on Netflix after more than 10 years a Breaking Bad being off, um, you know, AMC, you know, and I, I guess Netflix own the thing or whatever, because that's the only way you could basically see Breaking Bad right now is on Netflix. So Netflix bought it, you know, now they own it. And that's why they came with this El Camino thing. But come on, man, this thing was such a drag. And I'm sitting up here and I'm like, okay, um, I was I, I was seeing how, you know, at the end of of Breaking Bad, the um, season five, uh, episode sixteen, really basically towards the end where uh, Walter White and Jesse Pinkman is in this biker gang house, and the 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 biker dudes are dead. Um, because Walter White made this this machine gun. He popped the trunk. This something. This this machine gun came out and started shooting everybody in the house. So I guess Walter White got hit with a bullet. Okay, and um, Jesse kills Todd, the 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 weirdo, the weirdo Todd dude. He uh, kills him. Basically chokes him out. Um, I, I think he choked him out with a with a chain or something like that. So anyway. So after all that's done, after all the bikers are dead, here's Walter White facing Jesse Pinkman. Jesse Pinkman has the gun, right? And and tells Walter White, do you want this? Do you want this? And Walter White says, I want it. Jesse looks at the bullet of Walter White in this in this in the side or whatever, and he said, well, uh, do it yourself. He drops the gun and says, do it yourself. And Jesse basically gets in this El Camino and he drives away. Okay. Walter White, he uh, he stumbles, you know, with this, with this um, being shot or whatever. And he goes into, I guess, the, 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 the meth factory, whatever. And he puts it. Um, let me see. Let me see how to. Let me see how to. Uh, yeah, he puts his his hands on this. I don't know this this metal whatever the case may be. And he spells a W. And he falls. And you know he basically dies. Did the cops come? And then they play uh, my baby blue. I ain't even have to look that up because I know it in my head because I see Breaking Bad fucking 25 times. I know it real well. Anyway, so um, so that's the end of that. So they, they basically start El Camino with Jesse in the car pulling off, okay? And he stays at, uh, he's, he... I don't know. I guess he's. Um, I don't know what the, what the hell happened. El Camino. That uh, 
Badger and uh, Skinny Pete finds him and puts him in his house. They puts him in, you know, their house or whatever. And he wakes up and Jesse wakes up and uh, and some have, I don't know. But anyway, this thing was such a drag. It was such a fucking drag. And then I'm going to sit up here, spoiler alert. I'm going to give y'all a little spoiler. The Towards the end of the movie, the, the, the El Camino movie, um... Walter White uh, is is doing a, a cameo, you know. He's doing a cameo. But I'm like, well, where the hell was Walter? I mean, in this scene in El Camino with Walter White, where was this at? This must have been an earlier version because he looked like like the younger version, like when, Breaking, when um, season one of Breaking Bad was going on, you know. Somewhere, I don't know, I don't know. I'm confused about that, you know. Um, and then they also had the the uh, the girlfriend that uh, Jesse was messing with, you know. And I was like, okay, I mean, I know we all know that she OD'd in Breaking Bad. She OD'd and, uh, you know, I don't know, whatever. This thing, they only had one action, um, a small piece of action. In this whole thing, it is. I don't even understand why this was even made. I don't even understand it. I'm sitting up here like, why? Why did y'all even do this? You know, y'all must have seen on Netflix that it was still trending, and y'all was like, okay, well, let's revive this thing with a with a movie, if you want to call it a movie, and you know, see how it works. I mean, it's getting good reviews all over the place, but I don't know why. I really don't. I I agree with El Presidor. This thing is just, it's awful. Seriously, it's just awful. Vince Gilligan, I really don't know what you, you know, was really thinking with this thing. You could have made more action out of it. You could have did something more out of it. You had Todd. Like, you called all these people who was in the Breaking Bad, whatever whatever that you can get together, and you just said, let's make a movie. You, you call all these old heads. Everybody looks old. Everybody's old. You, you didn't have, you know, I know Hank died. You, 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 you could have, I don't know. This could have been more than what it was. At times, I was like falling asleep. That's how bad it was. I was falling asleep on this thing. Jeez. I mean, it's basically telling the story of Jesse Pinkman on the run. That's what it basically is. And all these different things that he was doing to, I don't know, get out of, you know, of of, of Albuquerque, New Mexico. Some, I don't know. I don't know what the hell this whole thing was about. It was just boring as hell. Anyway, if y'all want to check it out, it's on Netflix right now. Y'all may have a different opinion of it than me, but that's just my opinion. Like I said, I love Breaking Bad. I watch Breaking Bad to death. I could still watch it like like I watched I'm watching it for the first time. I could still watch it like that. I watched it so many times. So many times. But anyway, you know, that's just me. I love Breaking Bad. I really, really do. Really, really do. All right, y'all. This is the Bear and I'm out. Peace.